What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to be beginning the second part of the FedEx Cup journey. We're going to be playing at the BMW Championship at Wilmington Country Club. And yeah, let's get started. And here and we go then. The BMW Championship is underway. First round starting today. In terms of updates, if you missed the last Country episode, you will have seen we were in a... You might have seen... Or you may not have seen that we were in a final round battle with Matt Fitzpatrick, which we managed to squeeze through and win by a few shots by the last few holes. So we've made a really good start to these three legs. Hopefully we can get into the top 30 in this tournament and then play in the uh, the FedEx Cup proper in the final rounds. Yeah, we've uh, so we won the first leg, got 2,000 points to uh to go into our fedex cup ranking and now we also have unlocked a gold level driver spec so everything is now rated at 65 so yeah we've got uh we're gonna see how this plays today because we haven't played with it yet but we are going to start with a wood because there's a drop see how we do on this first round and as always, folks, and if you do enjoy the content, if you are new around here and you want to see more of this, of don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. All the support has been greatly appreciated on this series. There'll be some new series coming out in the coming weeks, starting not next week, but the week after. We'll be having the new Formula 1 game and starting a new My Team series and looking at all the fixtures on, on that game. And yeah, really looking forward to the next big launch of sport games, really. So let's see how we do with this putt. Yeah, I'll tell you what, Rich. This is not a complicated part. We're going up a little slope, so pace essential. That's a good putt. Oh, it's just tickled out. Wasn't a bad putt, though. All things considered. Okay, that's in for par here at the first. And he'll stay the player's movements are sped up. That's weird. I haven't seen that before. The second hole here at Wilmington Country Club's south course, a 206-yard par 3. It features a fairly long green cut into the side of a hill with two bunkers par right. Par 3 now we'll deal them with. One toward the bottom of the hill on the left. Let's go six iron, don't we? Play it relatively safe, I think. What is going on with these animations? Something's going on with this game, and I don't know what it is. Solid shot, and sometimes. Yeah, look, he's like he's proper like skipping forward like a Jurassic bunny. This would be a big bonus if it went in more than like just trying to get this one close. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it do that before. Like even when he's twitching over the ball, you can see it. Yeah, Not far off. Run at that, but it won't go down. Still pretty good Don't know me. if that's maybe something EA have put in to try and speed up the rounds a little bit. But even so, it does look a bit robotic, doesn't it? Something's not right anyway. We'll persevere and see what we do. Boy, a lot to break down on this third see if it's a one round thing yards. This hole pretty much big far five now coming up about 200 yards in aggressive players can try to cut the angle and cover those three fairway bunkers right if they do we'll play this they'll be left looking at a new driver see what it does for me surrounded by three of the toughest bunkers Ooh, on that's, the course that's definitely an improvement from when we last played that hole around, you're trying to find a rhythm Hit fairways, <laughs> hit the middle of the club face. That's what they did right there. Taking a bit of a gamble with this, really, but I'm going to try power approach with the free wood. It's gone straight. Not quite getting up that hill, but again, we can chip that on. I'm not sure he got every bit of that three wood trying to get home to this par five and two, but still in the ball game for a birdie. I'll do. Oh, it's rolled out a bit more than I thought it would. Fifteen feet away. Might just trickle away. And it's gonna work out though. We get the birdie. 
absolutely perfect there. Move to one under. It's in for a birdie. It's moving everything out super fast in the cutscenes and in, the approach, on the golfer as well. We get another uphiller at the fourth. This one, a par for it, 406 yards. Bunkers the issue off the tee. Three to the left, one to the right. Yeah, he's like, look at him. Rocking backwards and forwards. He's like super Ricky. Green. Never seen it do that before. This is new. Oh, we've hit that left. That wasn't a good swing. We've paid the price. And that, I do believe, is into the bunker. In the bunker we go. Anything on the green would be a good result from here as he readies his second out of the sand. See what we can do for a wedge. Hit it left again. Got it on the green somehow. We have to two put it though. Shot, really. I know that's uh, not exactly close to the hole, but out of the fairway bunker, safely on deck. That is god awful. Come on. Slow down a bit. That'll do. Have to get the par here. And that'll do. Rescued the path from the bunker. Good par here at number four. Let's start. Remain at one under par. At one under. Rather four under after seven. Now to the fifth at 495 yards. A Again, visually just need to make the hole. cut. You'll want to play the, right that's the, the bunkers, concentration we've got to have on these first two rounds. From there, a tough I know it's boring. Over a cascading pond. No, it's not what people green, want to hear. They want me to go for things. Room for error. Being brave and bold is what has lost us some big competitions in the past. The side. Oh, we got very lucky with that bounce. Well, that was a great tee shot, but when you're that far down there, the fairways get a little narrow. Just finished in the first cut. Going with the iron. Should be all right. Yeah, sounded nicely. And that ball looked good in the air. You'd like it to be a little closer, but still inside 40 feet. Just going to have to be careful with the lag putting. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, just. Just, just, just. Again, pretty solid start, similar to how we did last tournament. Gotta keep that going. The sixth hole now, a par four at 391 yards. Another hole with an uphill element to it. A fairly narrow landing spot leads to a green with bunkers left and right. And that short left bunker is a deep one that will likely leave you with no direct view of the flag. Right. And that yeah, the driver, the new ball. driver feels really good. A little the new spec. Here as he gets set for his second. Ooh. 20 feet up in the air. 20 feet up the hill, I should say. He's got the flight. This one has a chance to be close. Yeah, that's good. That's a no, great shot. Take measure out, but that looks like uh, what six, seven feet in there. Oh, there's still lots of movement though at the start of this putt. Yep, we moved to two under. We're in a nice vein of form right now in these past few tournaments, and we're making them pay. On now to the par three seventh, two hundred five yards long. Three deep bunkers protecting the front Another of Another big championship. Is in fact, the largest on the course. In fact, we want to try and do so well in. That Arnold Palmer once said he could land his plane on it. See how it goes. Might have clipped down too much. Just a little bit. And that one not on the green, but not in a terrible spot either. Sitting up in the short grass. Yeah, chipped in. There we go. Missed the green at the part. Three under. No problem. That is in from off the putting surface for an unlikely two. That'll do. 
We come now to the eighth hole, a par four at 490 yards. This hole bends slightly left to right with four bunkers in play off the tee, two on each side. But a drive in the fairway will leave you an approach to another giant green with three newly renovated bunkers surrounding it. So backswing. Awkward and position in the sand as well. Two straight birdies. This will be a little tougher as the tee shot is into the bunker. Well, I know I'm paid to talk. Might be a drop shot here. There's not really much to say about that. Best to just move on to the next shot. It's on the green. It's got to be a mega putt from there, though, to make par. Not much movement. More movement at the start and in the end. Just tucking a bit more at the end there. Just tucking a bit more. Oh, 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 boy, that would have been one heck of a par. That nearly went down, but it'll slide just by. So annoying when that does that. Uh, I've been playing, I've played my first sort of, not, I wouldn't say That's proper round, not a full 18 round, but we played a par 3 course, 9 hole course today, IRL, and that was a lot of fun, managed to, uh, I hit some god awful shots, but I hit some nice shots as well, it was quite pleasing, I did hit, manage to get par on the third hole, which was good, um, wasn't expecting to get anywhere near that to be fair, so just, Glad that we were able to do something solid on one of the nine holes. Hit a lot of like sevens and eights, but hit a few decent ones as well. Unlike that shot. And that one gonna wind up in the bunker. Gonna have to flight this a long way. His second out of the bunker. That's ricocheted off the hill again. Nicely in the fairway, but it's going to have to be a good well, approach. The lesson there, I think, is if you find the bunker, you're just asking for trouble. Short of the green and a lot of work to do to salvage par. Need it to land nicely. It's right at the pin. Yeah, it's not a bad shot. Outstanding strike right there, right off the center of the club face, and a good chance for. Don't want to drop two bogeys in a row here. Even though the run is, that is quick. We are going to drop two bogeys in a row. Just losing a bit of the back part of these, this front nine. Okay, a shake of the head. Two birdies, two bogeys, and we go back to one under after drop back now, basically where we're after the first five. Four. Now, the back got side, beginning with the tenth, try and stabilize the round now with these next nine slant. holes. Uphill, par four, again with a number of bunkers left and right of the landing area. Just in the thick stuff. Ah, too strong for this hole, eh? Run out of fairway and into the rough. Big hit, though. Second shot coming up. Let's check in for the first time with Notavigay the third. He's got 116 yards to the front, 118 to the hole. The pin is stuck in the front right section. Yeah, of the we lane. made the right call. Gap I don't think the 54 would have made it. Too much heat, gonna end up just beyond the flag. This one is all about touch and feel and creativity. Coming down that huge slope, oh, it is a birdie putt. Hmm, just wide. Yeah, just uh, not quite there, was it? Mm. Stabilized with the par. And he'll remain right couple of par fives here as well, though. So some opportunities to maybe pick up a couple more shots. 
On to the 11th at 430 yards of par four. Let's see what this we can do with it. a narrow landing zone with two bunkers left of the dog leg that must be avoided. From there, should be a short iron into a heart-shaped green. Cool with the free iron here. Nice and straight. Should be a fairly simple shot for the yeah, next one. Shortish par fours like this, it's a great time to bring out the irons, and that is going to work out well. I think that race is away, you know. I really do. Up down to an eight. Yeah, we've made it easy. Could have maybe well, gone a little bit closer, but as you'd like, but when you find greens in regulation on a regular basis, you're going to have a chance. Push it back, push it back, push it back, push it back. Oh, I just stayed yeah, straight. Pretty good run at that, but it won't go down. Still pretty good from there. So that, there we go. Two birdies, two bogeys, two, bogeys, two pars. Right where he is. <laughs> Are we building an arc? There's no one wants to know. Anyway, Forward now to let's the get on to the next one. First of two long par fives here on this back side. This one, a stout 634 yards. It Good features Lord. a narrow tree line fairway that gently. We get this up here, that's amazing. Down. Apart from the sheer distance, the other feature that prevents it's most gonna be in the trees. to get home in two is the large pond. Hit somebody. Sorry to the man in the hat. Front of the green. I apologize. I will pay it for all medical bills. Got to get it on there, haven't we? Get it on the fairway and we're happy. Might not be on the fairway, though. Not to be fair, it has landed pretty softly. The fairway. That was the job at hand, and it's a good end result. Mm. Get this close. Yeah, that'll do. Ah, good shot. Safely on the green and a birdie chance. This is an 11 foot putt. There we go. Oh, yes. Pace Back to two under. It is exactly what we needed. Birdie. Ball shots back on the leader, had win. Two 600 yard plus par fives is this little gem, the 13th at 170 yards. Water is definitely on your mind. As you see the big split level pond left of this green, but those bunkers short and right, no fun either. It's going to be bang in the middle of the fair, uh, the fairway, the green, but if it could come back, it's that not going to though. Well struck, but it came in a little too hot, and that one's going to run out and leave him a much longer birdie putt than he would have hoped for. Nice. Badly misjudged on my part. Now we've got some work to do. There we go, well, save the par. That is in for par here at Move to the next five. And he'll stay at two under. Looking for an opportunity to get to three under again. Well, if you thought the 12th at 634 yards was long, Jesus, 649. Another par five, though this one is in fact 15 yards longer at 649. Fortunately, there's no water on this hole, but what it lacks in hazards, it makes up for in bunkers, as you'll find a cluster of them near the landing zone and another yep. group. Sails by. Shorten that hole a bit. 330. 290 yards. Right there. Gonna take a big poke to get there, but a chance with his second to the par five. Let's give it a go. Oh. Oh, we've gone slightly to the right. That's bunker territory. Yeah. 
It's a big good shot Two from here. Shots at the par five and found the green side bunker. Lie looks good. Now, just needed a good bunker shot. That's a hill there as well. Need it to stop. It's not going to, though. Oh, kind of bladed that one. Got it out, but it is now in the rough. Go down that hill. Don't go down the hill. This could be a bogey exactly if we're not ideal. careful. Far from a tap in for his part. You're being too kind. Uh, that's not at all ideal. Judged beautifully. Uh, bails him out. There, that's in for Got that hole all sorts of wrong. Right that went is. really badly, that one. We Not at all what we wanted. On the back side here, as that Still under par though, that's the main thing. Long par 3 15 at 234 yards. Getting the ball over the pond front and left of this screen is obviously job one. But getting the ball to stop from that far back can often be another matter. Yeah, I'll take that. that one, With the pin uh, position, the, the water hazard, and the bunker. Sitting up in the short grass. To be in the middle of those two is kind of where you want, really. That'll do. That'll do. This is a tricky golf course, this one. Lots of challenges to it. That'll do. Par yeah, again. Solid first round. Could have been four under if not for the two bogeys, but again, we've got to just keep ourselves in it. Got to make the cut first. You can't win any tournaments if you go out in the first two rounds. Audubon certified course. They line both sides of this 393 yard par four. The two tiered green gives you something to think about on your approach because a miss there can leave you with a very unwieldy putt. Uh, lots of carry forward there. That is dead. Three ten. Right down the middle here to start. Loving this driver so far. A pretty ideal wedge distance here, ninety-five yards for his second. Let's get the sixty out. Hitting it pretty nicely. Oh, didn't go forward. I thought it was going to go a bit further. The term mulligan. You'd love that to do over there, wouldn't you? I mean, that's just oh, it's very poor from that range. Uh, it's not enough power in it. A bit more power in it. I think we're all right. Walk that in. That looked on target the whole way. Okay, that'll be a par here. Got two left. Can we make some shots up in these last two? That would be nice, wouldn't it? Hardwin having a great first round. Six under. Another ball striker's test. This a par for it. 419 yards. It's gently sloping downhill all the way, though. Be careful with your tee shot because it could run out into one of those three bunkers to the right. It's a good hit. It felt good off the tee. Get down the hill. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Squarely in the fairway. He'll be fingering in this breeze in his face as he sets for a second. Yeah, beautiful. That's a great shot. That's probably the best approach of the day. That's the first, the last. That's a great shot. There we go. Birdie finished off here at 17, and he'll move to three under par, just three back. On to the 18th hole now. A tough hole to finish on. Par four at 446 yards. All the things you've come to expect from a hole at Wilmington are here. A dog leg, bunkers in the landing area. This isn't trees, gonna be easy. A large slope tween. That'll do though. A good way to encapsulate this. Bang in the middle of the fairway. Lovely place to be. Hundred twenty yards going uphill though. Won't be an easy to one to judge. From the fairway, Iona. This is gotta, second. Gotta aim this. Yes, hundred and twenty yards left to the flag stick. And that wind is hearing from Come left on. to right, so you need to factor that in as you start this ball. Yeah, it's 
pretty solid. Not fantastic, but pretty solid. You can't overshoot this side of it. Come on. Oh, what a put. Two pays back to back. Gets to sells to four under. Hadwin leading Lowry in second and Nacelles in third. Can't be not far behind us either. So again, put ourselves near the top of the leaderboard. And now we've got an opportunity to get ourselves in to the cut. There's only 50 playing in this field, remember. The projected cut line is over 12, apparently. 12 over. Again, conditions not really playing too much havoc with us. So we should be fine. Let's get into the second round and see how we do. And as always, folks, if you are enjoying the content, like I said before, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Greatly appreciate all the support. Yeah, let's get straight into the second round and see if we can close that gap to the top. But more importantly, we've got to get, keep ourselves in a solid position heading into the final two rounds so that we can get into that final tournament for the, uh, for the FedEx. That Canadian Adam Hadwin is your leader. He's at six under par. Our featured golfer right in it. Just a couple of oh, shots. Oh, that might be bunker. Got lucky so with no the bounce. To start, but no reason to panic either, Frank. Oh, no pitches on the scorecard, Rich. Just see what he can do on the hole. With the 54 wedge. Doing it right at the hole. Gone more to the left than I thought it would, but again, it's on the green. And that ball looked very good in the air. Just doesn't quite finish up that near to the flag, but still on the green. That's running way more than I thought it would in terms of left to right. Yes, that was not easy down the slope, but that's pretty well done. There we go. It's a bar here at first. And he's BMW stay. Championship. One of the most illustrious on the PGA outside the majors. The we are in contention right now. It can all quickly go south though if we don't keep it concentration. A fairly long green cut into the side of a hill with two bunkers right and a deeper one toward the bottom of the hill on the left. Going with the seven. That's just gone to the right. I thought I was going to cut in more. Oh, we got lucky with the roll. That's not a bad shot in the end, actually. Safely on the putting surface. This a little good opportunity for birdie here. And there we go. Yeah, well done. It's a birdie here at the second. Early birdie. And That's what we like. Sixty-seven quickly to one under four. His Closing that gap now to one shot. Boy, a lot to break down on this third hole at 582 yards. This hole pretty much takes crazy, right crazy turn, hole. This about one 200 yards in. Aggressive players can try to cut the angle and cover those three fairway bunkers right. If can we carry do, that? Ooh. They'll be left looking at an uphill approach Let's go for it. to a plateaued green surrounded by three of the toughest we carried bunkers it. on the course. Have this we carried it? Right just oh, we've just carried that. We might be off again though. Somehow carried that bunker. I don't know how. We're going to try and get back up this hill. <sighs> don't like it. Out the rough. Landed in a pretty similar position to where we did last time. Difference being, we ended up in the bunker. Ah, oh, that second shot took some force on this par five just to get it into the greenside bunker. Now well positioned. Especially with a little savvy bunker shot. Come on. And nicely. Birdie chance. Okay, a good out. And that's what will remain for Birdie. Now a seven footer. Yep, creeps in. But it's a Birdie. Done. Looking good early. That's birdie Six under. Consistency is starting to come into and the game now. Two under for his round. Six under for the tournament. 
So after the uphill approach at the par five third, we get another. It, I'm just glad we're able to bounce this back one, from four, that lead at the open, yards. not Bunkers transpiring into a first two, major. Three to the left, one to the right, and another two more for good measure up at this elevated green. This one starting a little bit left. It's fine. That's just, uh, well, that it's not the, the it's not the shot. fairway, but a it's a good spot. From there, with a little bit of grass around the ball, but uh, still not too bad. Form of the sixty wedge. Harry, there we go. we go. That's a good shot. Yeah. And more importantly, too, a green in regulation, mm. so thirty chance. What's the running like on this? Have we got it right or we just got it right? Oh, we just got it right. It just tipped in. That's a hat trick of, of birdies, ladies and gentlemen. That'll do. Now to the fifth at 495 yards, a visually intimidating hole. You'll want to play right of the bunkers. Trying to stay aggressive and not lose equilibrium too much on this one. Wanna just keep it. Cascading pond to a green. Which Keep it going. Keep this flow error. going that we're in at the minute. Great first shot. Everything flowing really well right now. Coming off three birdies in a row. Here's another solid. Three, two four, shot five well. yards there. Down on the course. Let's check in with Nota Begay the third. One fifty-seven to the hole, and coming off three consecutive birdies, it's go time. One with the eight. Could be good this one. Yeah, maybe not get a birdie there, but and safely on deck. That's the main thing. But I'm not saying that. Really don't want to leave yourself like a knee knocker, like a four or five footer. So this first putt. Oh no! Stay straight. Stay straight. Stay straight. Yes, four in a row. Absolutely perfect there. Down the slope. Tell you what, guys, this is phenomenal. We're destroying it right now. To eight under. The sixth hole now, a par four at 391 yards. Another hole with an uphill element to it. A fairly narrow landing spot leads to a green with bunkers left and right. And that short left bunker is a deep one that'll likely leave you with no direct view of the flag. Get up the hill. That's what yeah, we want. Nothing a fault there. Good balance, good follow through, and a good start to this hole. Now from just 94 yards out, this is second. Yeah, that might be the end of the run of the birdies, but uh, it's a bit of a head we'll take really. it. That was a green light oh yeah, we're not getting this one in, not from here. Now far from the best shot I've seen today. Using that hill. Yeah, that's good pace. Just a little offline, but not too bad from that far away. There we go. In for End of birdies, but to be four under after six is a pretty phenomenal start, if I do say so myself. Twelve holes to go. Great opportunity to push ourselves further. The dangers short are self-evident. This is I feel like we're in that position of flow with the game at the minute where we were when we won the players. That's how good it's feeling this game right now. Go slightly to the left, but it's gonna be on the green. Might just run off actually. Yeah. That was left all the way. He'll wind up in the rough. Fine. Get this as close as we can. Yeah. Nice tap in for part. That's what you want. There we go. Finished off. It'll be a par here at seven, and he's going to remain at eight under. Lowry chasing us at the minute as well. He's had just as good a start to the day as I have. Long par four now, 490 yards on the eighth. Let's go to the right though. Yeah, we stayed out of the bunker. That's all right. 
That's worked out okay. Freeze at his back shoulder as he lines up his second from the fairway. How do we stay six? Hmm. Six feels dodgy a little bit, but it's just staying straight as you like. Need it to kick around. If that come back down a bit, that'd be greatly appreciated. That's well played. Now a good look at Birdie. Now Noda, this for Birdie. Still have to be aware of the slope coming downhill, but not a ton of break in this. Hmm. Ooh, good speed there. That bit more break than I thought there was going to be. I'll be honest. Okay, that in four par here at the eighth, and he'll stay right where he is. Yep, three shots between the cells and, and Lowry to Wise. So clear front runners at the moment. The and all changed quite very quickly though. Left and three more to the right. The water right shouldn't be in play for most on the approach. Just like that. It this can change just like that. As it slopes pretty sharp Smack bang in the middle right. of a bunker. Yep. And that one gonna be into the bunker off the tee. 204 yards from the bunker is not a shot you want to hit. And go for it though. Oh, that's oh that <laughs> tell you what when you're in form in this game of golf you are in form he's been automatic on this front side this for birdie no not enough turn not enough distance and not enough turn this is right frustration there there's a chance missed not that time oh had been automatic but not that time Go from that great recovery shot from the bunker to dropping a shot right at the end of the front back nine or well, the front nine, sorry. And he's going to fall out of the lead, and wind up a shot back. Three under for the day. The backside beginning with the tenth, four hundred forty. And the thing is, I feel like we could have had six under them on that back on that front nine. With a number of bunkers left and right of the landing area. Looking for a strong finishing kick here on this Friday to get set up for the weekend and that another good drive here. One with 50 wedge. Left here today as he stares down his second to the par four. Oh, that's worked out beautifully. Here at the tenth with the iron in hand and hits it stone cold close. A dead on look here for Birdie. And we get that shot well back. We move to eight under. He will definitely not say no to that. On to the 11th at 430 yards of par four. This one features a narrow landing zone with two bunkers. And as well, another thing I should mention, right guys, is for winning that from there, previous tournament that we did in the past green. couple of episodes, we got 6,300 coins for that as a as a reward for, as, for completing like a career quest by winning the tournament. So. It pays so to win, clearly. In that first cut, it's a little bit less than two inches. You can see the golf ball should be able to get at it, but may not be able to control the spin. We'll see. One with the eight iron. The trusty eight. It's gone right. Should be on the green, though. Yeah, it is. It's going to roll all the way around. It's pretty well, kind, that. This back nine and a good approach shot. Oh. This for birdie. And it's dipping downhill. The 11th. Well, I've really been impressed with how he's handled the speed. Nah, uh, what's a turn there? Way more turn than I think anyone there. would know what to do with. But we stay solid, and we go to par. Okay, that one finished off for a par, and he'll remain right where he is. Yeah, I'm still reeling from that. Four birdies in a row we had. Now to the 12th, Unbelievable. The of two long par fives here on this back side. And here we go. This back to the par fives. South, 634 yards. It's it just features a narrow crack one open and go for it. Slopes downhill. Apart from the sheer distance, 
The other feature that prevents most from trying to get home in two is the large pond. That big, that massive lake in front of it. That's probably the worry. 285 yards from here. So, in the fairway, but a pretty good number to carry here for mm. a second to the par five. I think we can go for it. 38 foot drop. We fit that right, though. We fit it so far right, we've somehow ended up safe. Two shots around this green is always good. Now, for a little CVS, perhaps a third shot on this par five, get one close, maybe make four. One. Stop. Stop. Oh, we butchered it. Under hit it to hit the slope. And it's going up nicely. With all the elements of his game have been in sync today, a terrific shot right there. It's all about getting it inside that three foot circle around the hole. Now we move really to the par three. Shot. Made a mess of that, that par five. We made a mess of the other par five yesterday, as in round one. So let's see what we can do with these. Water is definitely on your mind, as you see the big split level pond left of this green. But those bunkers short and right. Move it to the right a little bit. Either. Yeah, it's solidly in the middle. Oh, at the front, actually. Yeah, that's a good spot to be on the front portion of the green. Oh, look at the swing, though. Up. Substantial movement on this putt right to left, and it's from distance. So this one not just got a chance. Speed, it's gone. Well. Oh, found a bit more juice. Nice it would have got there. Oh, can you believe it? So much movement on this green. Okay, safely in for par here at 13. But again, I'm really happy to be eight under by the end of this round. If that's where we're at, I'll take it. Well, if you thought the 12th at 634 yards was long, again, we made a bit of a dog breakfast of this one. So let's see if we can make a better go of it. 15 yards longer at 649. Fortunately, there's no water on this hole, but what it lacks in hazards, it makes up for oh, in bunkers. Oh, we powered that. A cluster of them near the landing zone, and another group up near the green. Three sixty yards, pretty much. For that first drive. Then we've got this one to try and get it up the hill. If we get this on the green, I'd be ecstatic. Come on. Where is it landing? It's landing, but is it going to roll off? It is. Not the worst position, though. If that ball had just slowed down, it could have been an eagle putt. Just kept going. Oh, just over the back. Got to be gentle with this one. Can't hit this too hard. It's running away. And looking at a tricky birdie putt now. This one measures out to 15 Lots of feet. movement at the start. Oh, you almost managed that perfectly. Speed was spot on a good putt, but nothing to show for it. Well, keep par. It is a par here at 14. And he'll stay right where he is. Again, we know we can make a couple of shots up on the back a couple of holes after yesterday's performance. Here, as that brings us to the long so let's see if we can do something similar today. Yards. Getting the right. Ball over the pond, front right and left of in front. Is obviously job one. But getting the ball to stop from that far back. This is, be this is a risky move, this one. Oh, we got... <laughs> We hit the wall. <laughs> I'll take a look. Now from the bunker. Just a little splash out on this par three. Yeah. Good recovery. We got so lucky with that hitting that brick wall oh, before though. Came through beautifully there. Good thump of the sand. And a good chance to save par. 
There we go. Oh, how's that not gone in? That, up too high and it didn't want to come back. that should have dropped, surely. Okay, how's that not gone in? And now he's going to fall a couple of shots. Interesting. We're at to nine under now for Lowry. A couple of shots really back. Shows off some of the Three holes to go. Audubon certified course. They line both sides of this 393 yard par four. The two tier green gives you something to think about on your approach because a miss there can leave you with a very unwieldy putt. Got it. Fairly decent amount of ground cover on that one. To get set up for the weekend, and that another good drive here. Going with the fifty-four. Stop! Stop there. Oh, Fantastic shot. And the ball does the Incredible. Not much left here for Birdie. Yep. Ah, and get the shot back. That is down for a birdie here at 16. And Incredible response. Four under par, just one shot off the top spot. The 17th hole now, is another ball striker's test. Par four, 419 four, yards. We hit yards. birdie yesterday. It's gently sloping downhill all the way, though. Let's get this one. Tee shot because it could run out into one of those three bunkers to the right. It's gone left. It's gone left. Hit the hill. Oh, I didn't hit the hill as much as I would want it to. Ah, too strong for this hole, eh? Ran out of fairway. Be a good shot from here. The rough. Big hit, though. Second shot coming up. Let's bring in Iona Steven. 134 yards left to the flag stick today. Been over on the right hand side today and coming out of this rough on the left hand side, he's got a direct line. Yeah, it's. Uh, yeah, it's not going what I, I would expect. A lot of green to travel here, but this is for Birdie. Good guys. You are remotely close, I'll be ecstatic. Oh, no. Flirted with the idea for a little bit, but moved away at the end. And this will be a five foot putt here. And there we go, take the par. It is in for par here at 17. And he'll remain right where he is. There we go, BMW Championship, first two rounds. A tough hole to finish on, par four at four hundred. Chasing the leaders. Yards. All the things you've come to expect from a hole at Wilmington are here. A dog leg, bunkers in the landing area, trees, a large slope screen. All in all, a good way to encapsulate this round. Good stuff. Good drive. Wait, start. Definitely there today. Another wonderful team. Right, let's shot. get this up here. Frank, on an uphill shot like this one, did you do anything differently in terms of your setup over the ball? Yeah, I made sure the ball wasn't too far forward because on an uphill shot, there's always a struggle to get all your weight going forward. No. Nope. Should have clubbed up. Don't know why I didn't. That was a bad call on my part. Now we've got a tricky uphill shot here. We land this softly. Got to hope it gets some run on it. Yeah, it's got some run, but not as much as I would like. The strike was fine on the pitch shot. Ball first, then turf. Just and this really isn't going to be easy enough. either. No, it's not even pushing. Not even pushing. Mm, and we drop a shot in the last the hole. Line. Disappointing end to this round, really, considering how we started it. Okay. Being really good about ourselves head. going and into the sixth hole. Is finished off. Three under though for the day. Three shots Can't complain about that. Three so shots no behind Ad Hadwin. These final two weeks, but all these golfers wanting desperately to play well this weekend and punch their ticket to East Lake and the Tour Championship. Next and at the week. moment, yeah, we are so doing well, what we need to do win, and get to, to thirty, ticket, top so thirty. Whether it's a tenth, fifteenth, or twentieth place, somehow guarantee a start at East Lake. Eight shots ahead. So that's it for us, for Frank. Eight shots ahead of where we need to be. So happy with that. Crew. In terms of the overall performance of the first two rounds,
as always, folks, I am going to leave it there. The next episode of the career mode will be the final two rounds of the BMW Championship, and we'll see where we end up. Can we get another tournament win? Probably going to be difficult, because Hadwin seems to be playing quite well. But if you want to see some some more sports content from us, why not check out our Andy Murray Tennis Manager series that we've started. The first few episodes are now up online. And if you want to see some more of that, just click here.